Who's the support best to counter Thrash? Probably Annie. Just because the lane looks just like when you guys saw it. I just play really hard into him and just out trade him because I do more damage than he does. Even if the Thrash hits all his abilities, they get they have to walk in to go on the person they hit the, the hook on. And I just get a double stun off and uh, end up shitting on him after that. Because Annie's E makes are really tanky, so I don't really care if I get hooked. I'll just do way more damage. Yep, I'm gonna turn off the music and I'm gonna basically do. I'll do my supportology on Annie. Because I need to do this. So. YouTube's so dumb. I used to be able to play music when I did these, but now I can't because they'll just take down the video. It's Caitlyn. You want to play too? All right. So fun. for any support, I run hybrid reds, AP quids, half AP flat AP blues, then the other half flat MR blues, and then armor yellows. And then uh, my masteries, I go. Ooh, I had the wrong masteries. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. My masteries, uh, I run 13, 11, 6, and I get sorcery, exposed weakness, full brute force and martial mastery, full mental force and arcane mastery. And actually, I need to get double. Oh, actually, no, double edged sword is kind of shitty for range, so I don't want it. Um, it's not really worth it to me. It's only 1.5% more damage, and I take 1.5% more damage, so it's not really a good trade to me. Then I take uh, 2 in recovery, 2 in block, 1 in yielding, 3 in veteran's cars, 1 in juggernaut, 1 in hardiness, and 1 in resistance. And then I get 3 in meditation, 1 in fleet of foot, and then 2 in summoner's insight. Alright, play reverse any. Change the overlay, yep, you're correct. I need to do that. Good call. Alright, they have Kha'Zix, Rengar, damn. Exhaust would be pretty good this game, but if I can just instantly kill them, then the exhaust isn't really going to matter to begin with, so. We have Ramus. I haven't seen a Ramus jungle in so long. Alright, Annie Graves is a really huge burst kind of lane. Like, we can, if I get a hold of somebody with a stun, they're probably going to die, especially once we hit level 6. Annie Graves is one of the highest burst uh, damage lanes in the game. So, if we can get a good combo off, we can probably just instantly kill this Caitlyn. Hmm. Kali into Orianna. Or wait. This is the Kali top. I don't know. We have a weird team comp. Very low range. Oh well. Do I think Lucy encounters Jinx? Not particularly. I think that's an even lane. Jinx doesn't really have any like hard hard counters. Outs like it's a support supports counter counter uh eighty carries, not eighty carries for the most part. But at least the three people are playing. People are playing like Caitlyn, Jinx, and uh Lucy in a lot right now. And the things that counter Jinx are getting hit by a lot of CC, which Leona's one of those people that can do that, so. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll have to get a new overlay for this, because uh, I just recently started doing these for support, so I have to get a new overlay. Um, that are, And I'm probably going to change the name of the show, so. Is it Runic? Runic? Blessing Mastery worth it ever? I'm not sure what mastery is that. I don't know which mastery that is. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know which mastery that is. <clears throat> uh, Leona is actually a counter to any support somewhat, but I think if we play the lane right, we'll be okay. Uh, we're just gonna be fighting all in, and if I get a good trade off, we'll be okay. All right, so. Who are we against? I don't know anybody on the other team outside of Valkyrie. Um, yeah, Leona is pretty rough against Annie because you can potentially all in the Annie and kill her uh, very easily. Um, so I have to be a little bit careful once they hit level 2. But if I can get them into a bad exchange when they're level 2 before she has her W, I, we can probably kill that Leona. <coughs> Do, 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 do
All right. Hopefully, Cutie Pie goes ham as hell, and this looks like a good episode. I've been going, we've been going off pretty hard whenever we play together, so I think we'll be okay as long as the other lanes don't feed too bad. And they have Rangar Jungle, so probably not going to see too much pressure out of him early. No, Annie definitely does not counter Leona. Leona just does more all in and is much tankier. Like, one of the strengths of Annie is she does the most overall damage. Uh, of all the supports, but the problem is, is uh, if they end up going on you, if somebody has enough damage to kill you when the, with the all in, then it'll be bad. And Leona has an, she's a tanky enough to survive your burst, and b she does enough damage to kill you once she hits level six. So that's why Leona counters Annie. And I start Doran's ring and two health potions usually, and I start W to have my stun ready for the early trades. Um, I think Doran's ring is always better than Doran's shield, just at least on Annie, just because uh, my goal is just to do enough damage to kill you. Like I want to kill you. I don't. I'm not going to be doing that many auto attack trades with the Liana, so I don't really need the shield either. So, like the auto attacks are going to be relevant. The overlay is off. Let me see. What's off about it? Oh, I see. It's like not properly spaced. Resolution. No? Hmm. I wonder why it looks like that. That's so weird. It's like not sized properly. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't know why it's not sized properly. That's weird. Uh, whatever, I'll just do it without the overlay then. What's up? Okay, I need a new uh, alien where uh, Jungology logo. So I'll just talk. I'll talk to you about that later. Cause for some reason this one doesn't work now. All right. All right. Oh, I missed the Z. We, I really want to push this up really hard. Damn. Did you just hit me with a headshot? Yeah, my goal right now is to push this wave up as fast as possible, so I hit level 2. Yeah, that Caitlyn's already really chunked. Once, if I had level 2 before they do, I'm going to flash and like go on him. Kind of chunked though, I'm going to use my health potions. I took too many Caitlyn harasses. I could if I hit level 2 before I did, so... Alright. Kind of a waste for me to blow a flash there, but... Now he doesn't have his barrier, so the chances of him dying are much higher. I'm gonna try to get my stun charge. I'm gonna take that CS just so I have enough mana, because uh, whenever you use your um, your Q it, and you kill a creep with it, it gives you uh, your spell for no cost. So I'm completely fine with uh, taking his CS to do that, because I want to be able to have enough mana to trade with him. Alright, E will give me enough tankiness to survive the lane. I need a ward. Alright, Rengar, stop, we're good. Maybe. I need to be careful. If Leona gets on me, I could potentially die. I don't have too much health right now. Alright, Caitlyn's so scared to come out to the wave right now. This is a good spot for us to be in. Oh god. I misplayed that so badly. Ha! Uh, the Rengar is coming anyways. I should've used my Q to stun rather than my W. Yeah, that was a mistake. I tried to W him midair to get him. I should've just used Q. That's a pretty big mistake. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. 
Leona just has enough damage to get on you. Or, she has enough gap closing and damage and tankiness. If I would used my Q, I would have definitely lived there, though. So, kind of a mistake on me, on my part. He might die here, though. He's pretty tanky. Oh, one more auto. Alright, nice. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Not having my flash there was also pretty bad. I shouldn't have used my W to try to stun him. That was such a mistake. Uh, oh. He's going pretty ham. He doesn't have barrier, though. Worth! Alright, so when I blew his barrier earlier, that's really nice because he didn't have it for when they did that all in exchange. I think I'm gonna try to push this wave up with Cutie Pie. Because I'm pretty sure he wants to go back to buy. And he can push the waves very fast because of her W. Alright. So he's gonna go back and buy, so I'm gonna go back and buy too. Yeah, he has BS Sword now too. Okay, I need some health potions so I stay topped off. And I'll have a ward for Rengar. I really need to get a ward right here. That's the place to stop Rengar from getting on us. Because if he's going to gank us, it's going to be when he's level 6. He's going to go in this brush, stealth, like with his ultimate, and then just jump us in the lane. And there's not going to be anything else. Like, if I ward in the river, it's not going to do shit. I'll just die to him regardless. So, because Leona plus Rengar jump is going to really hurt. Alright, I make Knight back up. Alright. Can't really go too hard on that. Creep wave's too big. Alright, here comes Theramis. He's dead. I wanna get the kill to Cutie Pie. I could have stole my Q, but I'd rather give it to him. Alright, now we need to let the lane push back. So it's really good that the Rammus is camping our lane, because I'm the lane with CC. Niddle he can't really camp Nidalee's lane or Akali's lane. Not until they're 6. So, it's good that he's doing this. You can just collect free kills all day. And the only way that Leono can really play this lane is by going all in. So it kind of, like, neuters her in a way. She can't play the lane how she wants to play it. So, we're just going to keep the lane frozen. Yeah, Cutie Pie is probably about to be 6. Um, once Caitlyn comes back in the lane, I'm going to flash Q the Caitlyn, and then Cutie Pie will probably do enough burst damage to just instantly kill her. Although, Caitlyn does have Ignite up now. I mean, not Ignite, but Barrier. Alright, his Q's down for probably about 7 seconds. I'm going to wait on that. I don't have a word for this. Kind of scared Rangar could be in here. Nope, we're good. It's trapped though. Whatever, I'm just gonna put the word here then. There's nothing that's gonna stop that Rangar from killing us, so might as well just play all in. Once I hit level six and Gray's level six, if he decides to jump us and we don't instantly die, he'll die so fast. Yep. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, man. I knew the Rengar was going to stealth in from there. I shouldn't have played so far up. Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and get a Ruby Crystal so I can try to survive their all-in. I need that health, and uh, then I'll get Sightstone off, off of that. This guy should be dead. Nice. Good play. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. Just Their ability to... If they can get on me, I'll just, I just instantly die. Alright, we're good. That's fine though. Um, I'll be 6 pretty soon. I'll have Ignite too. I should be fine to fight them. I should have played a little bit more back though. Uh, it was pretty obvious that that Rengar is going to be heading bottom. And I didn't have a ward right here where I wanted it to be. His ult's gonna be down for a while though. Hmm, Cutie Pie is still pretty low health. 
Um, oh, we're in a pretty good spot right now, though. Cutie Pie has a lot of gold. He probably almost has his VT. Okay, I'm out now. Kazakh died. All good stuff. I don't have flash. It's gonna be hard to get the proper initiate because I have to initiate on the Caitlyn. Nah, I can't do anything about that. All right, I want to get the word on this. All right, pussies. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go roll mid because I don't really need to buy anything, and I can possibly push that tower down. So. The proper play here is to make sure that we get this turret down with as much damage as possible. Because if I'm if I'm here with tippers, nobody will be able to contest this this mid turret. All right. Guess nobody showed up. I thought their jungler would show up, but he just decided to back off. I'm gonna get boots, even though I'm sitting on the money for everything else. I want to be able to get a good initiate off on the Caitlyn. <coughs> Alright, now that Graze has BT, like Graze has some amazing AD ratios on his abilities, and BT gives the most AD in the game out of any item, so he's going to be able to blow some people up once he has his full stacked. <coughs> Right, I'm gonna stay back a little bit. I need to wait on Ramus to get here because if Rangar goes on me, I'll probably die. Oh, I don't know if this is worth it or not. I just expect that Rangar is gonna come down here. He has been missing from the map for a long time, and their all around potential is like really really big. Alright, this isn't warded. Uh. Oh god, no! Alright, we got one. Damn. I knew they were coming. They should have changed targets, I think. I think we could have just popped the, uh... Oh, he hit a trap. That's what happened. Uh... Damn, that's that's pretty ugly. <laughs> yeah, so Ramus basically ran straight into a uh, Caitlyn trap, um, and that's what made that situation so bad. <coughs> oh well. Um, damn. I think Cutie. I think we just focused on the uh, Leona earlier, and then Cutie Pie ulted him, and Ramus also didn't run into the trap. That would have been a pretty free kill. That ah, pretty free kill. But at least he read that the uh, Rengar is going to come bot. I have my ultimate up in 60 seconds. Um, I'm sitting on a really weird gold value because I can't afford my sidestone and I can't afford my ancient coin, so. She probably has her ult almost back up. We can kill him for sure. There we go. Got that AP, baby. We can get Dragon off of this. I'm really wondering why he went in without having his ultimate or ignite up. There's. Graves is, a, is an AD carry that you cannot all in like that. Um, and the reason why is because his passive. His passive gives him so many free tank stats. So I don't think they took that into account. Like he had a, he had his full passive stacked up, which gave him way too much armor and MR. Graves is a pretty good pick against Leona. At least I think so. She's just a hard AD carried all in. Alright, he wants to go back. I'll go get my coin and my sight stone. Alright, get my coin. Using tippers on single targets is fine if you're just trying to kill them as fast as possible. This isn't really a team fight situation. Like, if somebody's coming to gank, you're not going to be trying to be like, well, hold on a second, get in range so I can hit a three man tippers on you. Like, it doesn't really work that way. If you're trying to set up the gank, you should get tippers and the stun on the priority target. Like, you should get it on anybody. Like, tippers itself doesn't really do that much damage. It's like 200 damage. Keeping the tippers out with the passive is what does the damage. It's 45 a second. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, let's 
It's gonna be a while till my sweeper lens is up, so I can't do brush control. I have my flash tippers up though. If I can get on that Caitlyn, she is so dead. Leona. I want to wait on Magnite to fight. Here's. Alright, we're good. This is such a random Oriana gank. He literally just ran straight down the lane. He's like, I'm here! What do you think of that? Oh, this is gonna be ugly. Please don't do this. Oh my god. No, I will kill you. Fuck. That a Kali, man. Kali, please. Damn, I almost killed the Ariana, too. I shouldn't have flashed in there. I could have got away. That was such a bad play. Oh, well. I'm gonna get my Shrelias next. Damn, that was so ugly. He came. He went roaming into their jungle without... Uh, he went roaming into their jungle without our, our jungler there. Did you hit anything, Kali? Yeah, that was so bad. Damn it. Yeah, this is such a bad situation because Kha'Zix is here. And I'm literally the only CC we have. So, they have Orianna and Kha'Zix coming right at us with Leona and, a and Caitlyn. Like, there's not enough CC to stop them from doing damage. But alright, we should still be fine. Just can't have any, like, plays like that anymore. That's pretty bad. I have ult in 40 seconds. I want to just take this turret. That was my goal, but then uh, Kali kind of came down to mess that up. Hmm. Put a word on this. Try to see anybody coming around. Rengar's moving bottom, and their blue is up. I don't quite have my ultimate up. Okay, we're stacking. This is kind of a weird spot to be in. I really don't like this. Aramis is pretty chunk, but we do have Nidalee. He's going the weird hybrid build. He's not going AP Nidalee. I'm just going to stay with uh, Cutie Pie. Alright, Rengar's bottom, I think. I want to back off after this. Alright, they pinked that. Yep, they're definitely trying to set up for it. Dragon is... 1937. So I'm gonna have to get a pink by the time the dragon comes back up, because I want to be able to see Rengar coming in. But I have another minute and a half on that, so I should be okay. Uh, looks like he wants to go back. Mm, such a weird gold value to be sitting on. I kind of want to get Sark Boots instead of the pink cord. I'm gonna be a greedy fuck like that and do it. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just gonna get fucking Sark Boots. I don't really care. I wanna do as much damage as possible. The real proper buy here would have been to get the pink ward and uh and upgrade get a pink ward and upgrade my sweeper trinket. Like if I was playing in a competitive environment, because I would pink this and then clear out everything and then just sit over a wall and try to get a tibbers on like priority targets when they come into Contest Dragon. No, I want the money. Alright. Yeah, I want more kills. Oh dear. They're going on that. Alright, nice, they got him. There's a ward here. Uh oh. No, I'm coming, kitty pie. Alright, he's pretty tanky, he lived. I wish I had flash. Alright, good. Clear flash. No! I'm coming to save you! I'm so dead. 
Damn, I wanted to get my ultimate off. Yeah, that was such a bad situation. I'm like clearing the ward. Whatever. Kali's gonna clean all that up. Jesus. And then I wanted to try to Tibbers, yeah, Orianna after that. I mean, it turned out okay, but that was just a weird situation to be in. Like, I was busy clearing this ward over here, and then Cutie Pie is like engaging here. So I ended up getting shit on. <laughs> this is not. Dude, this is so bad. This is like. I'm telling you, it's the curse of the jungleology thing. Like, uh, the last two games I went off so hard on Annie, and then this game it's just like, nope. Alright, uh, fuck it, I'm gonna get my ability power. Alright, get my stun ready, um, I'm just gonna move and try to get ward vision around here, and then start setting up for Baron. I wanna control the red side. Mm -hmm. Alright, need to get wards up here. At least the Orianna just wasted ultimate on me. And that gave Akali two kills, and so now Akali's 3-1. That managed to put her back in the game really hard. He's, w wait, not back in the hanging. He's actually really ahead of the Orianna, that's crazy. Alright, somebody's running around here, Liana. I wanna get a ward off over here. Uh, it's too dangerous. I'm gonna try to flash stun him when he comes up. Oh, you fighting. Okay. That just happened. Alright. Blue's up. Uh, I hope Nidalee goes AP build. It looks like he's going tank, though. He's dead. If I can get the... F nope. Can't get the flash on him. Oh my god. Nah, I can't do anything with this. What a weird fight. <laughs> Nobody was even around when he went in on that, and our AD carry was dead. That was the weirdest fight ever. I mm, hope they can hold that. I want to stay down here and get the money on this. My money, cutie pie. Mine. Alright. I'm uh, gonna get my flash tippers and try to go in on the people mid. I think I don't think Akali has her full stacks ready, so I only have one ward left. Right, I need to go get more wards. I'm really wanting to get my Shirelia, so I don't want to go back until then. This is such a slow game. I think we have to wait on the dragon to come back up. 26. And make a play off of that. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to get off a really good initiate until I get my, uh, my Shirelias. I'm waiting on that. <coughs> Alright. Almost have enough for Shirelias, but I have no wards. Hmm. Mm hmm. I need 70 gold, so I guess I'm still waiting on that. I really want to flash their reserve, but I don't have the Shirelias. Yeah, I'm gonna go get Shirelias right now. It's really big that I get this. And I think Dragon is coming up pretty soon. So, I'm at 26.13. Oh, you want this like weird hybrid build with Nidalee. It's like a bruiser build, but it's not. I've never seen that build. We go like re-rushed Hourglass. And then he has Merc Treads and then a Kindle Gem inside. He's like AP, but he's not AP and he's like hybrid. It's really weird. I think he should've just gone AP. It'd be good against our team comp. Uh. Uh. Did he, did he bait him? Nope. Alright. I want to initiate on Orianna. She doesn't have a, uh... She doesn't have, um, Merc Treads. I don't think that's a good idea. We don't have a very good siege comp. We have a bunch of low range champions. Alright, now I'm level 11. It's gonna be a pretty big damage increase from Tibbers. Uh, they're after 
after me. All right. Damn. I got a pretty good combo off on that Caitlyn. No. Uh, I think Cutie Pie's gonna clean all this up. Jesus Christ! All right, Cutie Pie's got this. That worked out. Uh, I ended up getting a really high damage combo on the Caitlyn, um, and I think one of the tanks. I didn't get anybody else though. But taking that Caitlyn out of the fight really fast, I think, helped us a lot. They basically counter engaged on the Rengar ultimate, so turned out good for us. Um, might as well upgrade this. Get my upgraded Sightstone. Get health. Get a pink ward. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for in fights. I'm looking to either counter engage or hard engage. And I saw Rengar go in, and then basically they all didn't notice me, and I just got the flash tempers off on their Caitlyn. Um, with Annie, you want to get off. You want to either peel for your your carry with good AOE CC to counter engage, or you want to get off like a hard CC on their uh, hard CC on their uh, backline. I have Tibbers up. This is kind of dangerous. Oh, well, let's get this shit. We need Kitty Pie in here. I pink you. Alright, they don't have any vision on this. They're probably gonna give it up. Yeah, Kazakhs is top. My Trelli is into him. I'm gonna put a ward for vision. Let's see. I feel like he's gonna ult into us and try to steal this. Oh, never mind. I lied. Alright, I need to get Vision on Baron. I need to get wards up there. Kaz is just going to be splitting out top. I'm not 100% sure if uh, this Nidalee is going to be able to hold him forever. He's going to do a lot of damage soon. They just warded right here. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my Sweeper Lens. I want to have it for Kazix and Rengar. And it's also really good for clearing out Baron. Get another pink ward too, so I can use it up by Baron. There's a really big wave bot. That wave. Uh, he might be dead. Oh, he's got his W. Do you have a GA? Uh, never mind. Cutie Pie does so much damage, it's disgusting. <coughs> I believe we can do Baron. I'm gonna get a pink ward for it. Oh my god, he ended up killing it. Maybe I should have been zoning him out, I don't know. Whatever. They got the Baron, who cares? I want that bottom farm. Damn, what I should have been doing there, because I was trying to get a ward over here, because I wasn't sure what direction he was going to come in. I should have been standing outside here with my upgraded sweeper once Baron got low. And, uh, and I should have been ready to stun the Rengar. Losing Baron was actually my fault, not the junglers. Shirelia's up. I'm gonna go tax all this farm. I wanna get a Leandre's really early so I have enough damage to instantly kill somebody. Oh, there's the Kha'Zix. Oh dear. I don't know what I'm doing down there. He got the reset too. He might. No. Damn, that was dumb. I don't know why I was down there alone. I, th I think it was like trying to bait him with the Ramus, but we don't do enough damage. Uh. Oh dear. Oh dear. The throws. Alright, so what went wrong there is uh, we tried to engage on them after I was already dead and Rambus was really chunked out. That was really bad. And most of them have Baron, or some of them. Yoriana does for sure. Oh my god, Kitty Pie, please don't do this. I'm surprised nobody on their team has gotten a sweeper lens yet for that Akali. They do have that pink ward. Alright. Uh, I might build a flash ulti here. Oh god. Nope! We're so dumb! <laughs> we went.
went for the most ham play. Damn it. We couldn't kill him. If only I had my hunting guys. Alright, so n what not to do is not do that. Alright, so that was a pretty bad play. Hey, Cutie Pie and I, I are going a little bit too ham this game. I don't know. This is pretty bad. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, anyways. Uh, now that we've thrown the game to where it's even again. Um, one's Dragon. 22-48. Sold your Kindle gem. Wait. Oh, cutie. Oh, this guy sold his Kindle gem. Yeah, I saw Rengar in the brush, but me going on Rengar is not going to do anything. He has Merc Treads and stuff. And Cutie Pie was like all the way up here. So I was just like, fuck it. And I went in anyways. Oh, God. Oh, dear. What are we doing? Alright. We're still all alive, I guess. Damn. Why'd I put the ward there? He just jumped out the brush and got me. Okay, well, this game is being thrown so hard. So, uh. That's 5v5. <laughs> Alright, we just threw the game so hard. We literally have just run into them back to back three times in a row. And, uh. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was. Like, Kali just charged right into their whole team. We need to be able to poke them off, poke them up a little bit with Nidalee, and then we can be okay. But, uh, damn. This is such a throw. It's the curse of the supportology, man. I'm telling you. Or the jungleology. Every time I do this show, it's a terrible game. It's so terrible. I think because it's harder for me to explain stuff and concentrate. But, yeah. You guys got the general principle. Of the how to play the how to play the Annie outside of uh, everybody dying, so we'll see if I can win this. If not, fuck it. All right, there's a huge wave bottom. Uh, somebody's gonna have to go deal with that, and yeah, somebody's gonna have to go deal with that bottom wave. And yep, there's the Rengar. Jesus Christ, Cutie Pie has no tank items either. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a hard game to win. What is this guy doing? Kali's pretty fed. Like we have a we have a decently fed team. We could definitely win if we get a good good stun off from my ultimate. Once my flash comes back up, I can get a good flash tibbers. Uh, dragon's up. I'm not sure if we want to fight for that or not. We probably can't. This will be the first dragon we lost. So I'm gonna try to save my uh, sweeper lens, my oracle lens, for when. Uh, Kazix and Rengar come in the fight, because I want to be able to see them with my sweeper lens. I don't think this is warded. It's kind of a weird angle to go in at. This is probably all warded as well. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, Baron's about to be up pretty soon. And, uh, oh, he's going in. He's just gonna jump over. Oh, I didn't need to use my ultimate there. I got my damage off. Damn, that Kali's going so ham. Yeah, I didn't have to use my tippers there. Whatever. I was trying to clip him with the max part of it. And it ended up being three. Or, what? As long as he, nope, never mind. I was about to say that ended up being a decent trade for us. I wasted my Tibbers, and on top of that, I got hit by Orianna ult. Like, Orianna full comboed me. Oh god, Cutie Pie. Well, he tried. Good try, Cutie Pie. Damn, I've been playing so bad this game. I hate this game. Alright! It's just hard to play Annie against all this stuff flying in, because I'm trying to use my ult to counter engage or to, like, to get on top of people. But it's, it just feels hard. I don't know. Like, they, they're. Jumping in after me and just murdering me. They have so much stuff that can gap close. But that fight was not that bad considering the situation of the game right now. I think we can still win very easily. Once I get tanky enough to survive. Um, once I get tanky enough to survive. All their people diving in. I think we'll be in a good spot. I 
I have a decent amount of health, and I'm starting to get points in E. E gives so much armor and magic resist. No, I'm gonna get uh, Leandri's and Rylai's this game. I need more health, and I need to be able to CC people. Alright, we need to go control Baron. So we need to push mid out, and then we have to go uh, sweep around Baron area. For some reason, I, f I thought that Akali had a GA. I don't know. kind of getting into a bad spot here. I don't particularly want to engage like this. This is where we're so split up. This is a bad spot to be in. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Alright, that was a weird situation. We have a Nidalee that can heal us up, though, so we're not in that bad a spot. And also, their person got really chunked out. Ramus uses ultimate, but Ramus ult has a very short cooldown, so that'll be okay. The problem here is this bottom wave. That's gonna start pushing in, and uh, yeah, somebody has to deal with that. All right, they're moving on Baron now. Orion ult should be almost up. Um, I don't have my super lens yet either. We don't have a Kali with us, need to be careful here. I have flash ult flash tippers though. I'm just gonna eat these traps. Alright. I don't have a pink cord for this, and I wanna say uh oh. Damn that wave. That is such a big wave. Oh dear. Nobody dealt with it either. Mm, I think Cutie Pie can go down there, buckshot the wave and clear it out, and then we can just hang around Baron for now. They know somebody's gonna go down there for it. Yeah, we can't do it. We, we need Cutie Pie right now. They're gonna do Baron for sure. Yep. Uh. Right, Cutie Pie is coming up. I need to get midway pushing. Mm. They could be on Baron right now. They're on Baron. I'm pretty sure that they're on Baron. Fuck. They didn't get the Oriana. That was so bad. We didn't engage soon enough, but looks like they're getting AoE'd pretty hard. Damn. That was close. Yeah. We just didn't move in soon enough. That kind of sucked. Oh well. Bad day. Uh, too much getting picked off. Mm, pretty big wave moving top. They don't have a wave mid. Uh, but they have an exposed inhibitor. I think they might get that inhibitor for free. So, yeah, Nidalee's build is pretty bad. He has Lich Bane and Hourglass. Oh, he has Void Staff, finally. I don't know. Death Cap would have been a lot better than Lich Bane. Like, Lich Bane on Nidalee is okay late game, AP Nidalee, but I don't think it's very good to get early. Alright. Well, I'm just going to try to get a good initiate again. I didn't quite get the Oriana there. I got the Rengar. We ended up killing him very fast. But, uh, yeah. If I could have got the Oriana there, I might have been able to do a big play. But she has Hourglass, so I'm not sure that would have made much of a difference. I'm going to try to get Rylai's next. I just want to be really tanky and be able to catch people. Looks like Cutie Pie is going the Randoin's build. He's going to be really fucking tanky with that build. Um, I think he'll be able to survive the Rengar and the Kha'Zix if he does that. <coughs> Alright, we wasted a lot of their Barons, so I think the best course of action is just sit in the brush. And then try to... Well, no, we can't even Wombo because we have this Nidalee. Nidalee makes it to where we can't poke people, or to catch people out like that, I think. Because we need to be able to poke a little bit beforehand. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the initiate's so brutal. Basically, Oriana puts the ball on Rengar, and uh, yeah, he just instantly dies. Well, this is gonna be the it's gonna be the curse, I guess. This is the curse. <sighs>
You know what I should have done? I think I should have like taken my good game with Annie and then voiced over it afterwards. It's uh yeah. Damn dude. I tried to peel the Rengar off of uh Cutie Pie and he just fucking died. There was nothing that could have been done. Oh well. Um Damn. That was probably one of the rougher Annie games. Uh but yeah, you guys get the idea on the items. I would have finished with Rylai's and then probably an Abyssal or something. Uh, they just had a really hard team comp for us to deal with because we had Akali who's a melee and then we have this Nidalee who is our kind of like weird poke and then our only real CC is the Ramus and I. So we don't have any way of dealing with, um, we didn't really have any way uh, of dealing with their, their really hard engage that they had. Because uh, like basically if anybody hit anything, even if the Rengar just jumped on them, they would still die. But yep, hold on, and we're at Arena. But yeah, if you guys like the show, uh, I'm going to get a new overlay next week just because this one messed up randomly. Um, if you guys like the show, uh, don't forget to check out Alienware Arena. Uh, they make this possible, and yeah, I have a lot of IP. <laughs> they make all this possible, and uh, yeah, give a shout out to the sponsors. So um, if you guys have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them about Annie, even though that was like a really bad game. I mean, yeah, these are my Annie games before this, 13, 5, 11, 7, 4, 25, uh, so... I don't know. I was doing pretty good with Annie. That was just a really rough game. I think one of the reasons is because Cutie Pie and I duo queued, and we had that really long queue time, so I think it made it kind of a weird game. Oh well. Doran's Rings versus Spell Thief on Annie. I think Doran's Ring is always better. Um, yeah, I think Doran's Ring is definitely always better. Uh, because I'd rather have Shirelia's for late game. I want the CDR and I want the initiation that it gives with the movement speed. But. Yep. Uh, I get Doran's Ring instead of Shield because I want to be able to win an all in exchange and just blow somebody up. Um, if the Rengar never came bottom, uh, the lane would have probably been much better. Like, we got a lot of good all in exchanges, and we got Cutie Pie really snowballed. He was 3 1 at one point, but then we just randomly threw our lead. No, I think Annie's still a very solid support. She just. Uh, yeah, you can't rely on her to be. Just Leona makes it really hard. Like, Leona, Leona's going to go on on your carries. And if you're not fed with Annie, um, she's just going to do way more than you late game. Yep, that's the end of that. I'm going to play some ads, and then I'm going to end my stream, though. Yeah, because I'm going to watch the ULCS and get Chick-fil-A. Fifty thousand dollars every day in ad revenue. <laughs> Fucking flappy birdfish. That's ridiculous. Uh, maybe when I added, let me try to re-add my my uh, overlay. Add. Dude, Chick-fil-A is so good.